hey guys what's up hello hi so uh, today i'm going to show you how you can actually boost your performance in the valorant so to get that max of frame rates so first thing you just need to go is task manager and after going to the task manager uh you just okay before that just close the valorant my valorant is on okay after just going to the task manager go for this uh, startups and these are the startup applications which uh, when you turn on your pc this all gets uh, activated by their own so you do not want to do that is because it just consumes your RAM memory so you just doesn't need all this because you're never going to use it also if you're going to use it then you can actually manually go and open them up so i just need a uh, van valid vanguard and windows security so that's it these two are enabled and rest of all of them are disabled so you can also disable every of those things okay so that will also increase your performance so uh, and this second thing you need to go for the background applications because uh, these background applications would be running uh, behind the scenes okay so you doesn't want them to run in the background because uh, if you just close it there will be a little bit of free memory so that you can use it in the game to increase your performance and uh, yeah i just uh, like this to turn it off it doesn't matter i mean it actually matters okay if you uh, turn it on it will just uh, take up to five frames so when you just turn it off you just get more frames and you you'll definitely get a performance boost you will just see just turn it off and check it yourself and just comment down how it went and the third one you just need to go for the game mode and if it is off just do the game mode on okay turn on the game mode because this game mode is just uh, optimized your pc for the, playing games that would be really good and if you have uh, xbox game bar then just turn it off it's a really good thing to put this off okay and the last one i just so uh, in the power mode if you are using any uh, 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 there would be a third option it would be for a high performance uh, for me it isn't showing so i just kept this one for the balance uh, it was recommended that's it so yeah if you are getting an uh, option for the high performance just uh, do it that would be a really good thing so task manager thing uh, this background applications this is the game mode and yeah the graphic settings so this is the main uh the important thing you need to get this is uh, for the in-game everything is for the in-game only but uh, this one for your uh graphics experience so the hardware acceleration should be on turned on because this radio uh, reduces the latency and improves the performance so after you turn it on you just need to restart your pc and then in the graphic performance you can manually select which application you need to work on higher performance so for i just uh, put valorant in the higher performance because i want this application to run on the hi higher performance than other applications okay so in here you just need to click on browse click on browse and then just go to the c drive do your games because uh, you, here you are selecting the path for it i mean uh, where your valorant is located right so your games you need to go for valorant live shooter games win 64 and there you go you need to select the valid here and add that's it i already had it right after adding you just need to uh, right click on it click on options and uh, for default it would be putting the option at let windows decide you do not want that thing to happening and also don't put this on power saving mode just put this on higher performance and click on save okay already saved it so i do not want to do it again and by doing the settings i'm actually getting up to 400 fps in the lobby i'm getting uh, the higher one and also in game when i'm playing right i'm getting up to 300 fps okay and sometimes it's even go to 350 nearly 400 okay to be put 
it actually goes to 400 okay my fps goes to 400 and the graphic card is also matters okay with uh, with uh, different graphic cards it would be up to their potential so how it can go uh so just uh, let me go into the practicing and show you how much fps i'm gonna get so guys uh if you have made this far in the video then please do like share and subscribe and if you're using discord then do join my discord server all the links would be in the description let's do it so uh, as you can see my client fps is actually going to 500 fps okay you see uh, as you can see at the top left corner it's actually going to the uh, 500 fps now if i'm going just coming down to 400 see if you do not move or don't do anything it just actually goes up to the 500 and if you are moving and you're doing i'm constantly getting up above 400 only at uh the lowest it is going up to 420 okay so as you, from this you can actually expect you're gonna get up to 300 fps okay the minimum is 300 fps okay let's see i'm sorry i'm a real life it sucks at this game I had to practice with the video, I guess. I'm playing really bad. People would be thinking that, yeah, what kind of a noob he is. He's getting up to over 300 FPS or 400 FPS, but he still is a noob. I'm really sorry for it. I just wanted to show you that how much FPS I'm gonna get, okay? So this is how much FPS I get, okay? So you are going to get up to 300 FPS, okay? Yeah, okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, that's all. That's all I just wanted to prove, okay? okay? I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry if anything is... Uh, if anything you doesn't like, I'm really sorry. This video is just about the performance bonus, okay? So yeah, thank you. Have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.